Hey, what's up, guys? So, I got a little toy tonight. I bought myself a new drawing tablet. Um, paid about 60 bucks for it on Amazon. Uh, it's called an XP Pen something or other. I'll, hey, what's up, guys? I'll put it on the, uh, the video description later. I basically look for a cheap tablet on Amazon. I wasn't looking for any one in particular, so I don't know if it's any good or not. I haven't actually used it yet. I'm going to be using it now for the first time. And I've mentioned before on Twitter how I use these things. I used to own another, uh, one I bought a few years ago and it stopped working when Mac uh, updated to the Catalina OS. Um, but I've mentioned before how I use these things on Roll20. And I've had a f few people ask me how exactly do you use that on Roll20. So I thought I would share. Um, and basically the way I use this is I assume Roll20 is a table. Uh, like if it were a physical table with a battle mat on top and I use it as such. So check this out. I basically use it to draw on Roll20. So if I go to Roll20 and I pick the freehand, I can draw on the battle map as if it were a physical battle mat on my table. Um, in the case of you know me not having a fancy drawn map or whatever or, or just feel like sketching out a battle real quick um i could do it with with this thing and, and it lets me do really anything you could do with a mouse and it's a lot easier to draw with a tablet than it is you may notice by the way that this tablet is flipped that's because i'm left-handed and it, it can get a little wonky for us lefties to to draw on these things um so i was i flipped it over and there's a setting there that you could flip it so anyways if i want to sketch out a simple little scenario here let's say you know there's a couple trees i want to draw a couple trees here let me make them green you know if you want to set up a little wooded area here with trees and a little forest uh, perhaps some rocks you know, draw some boulders here, whatever, maybe a campfire. Um, it's a lot quicker than drawing with a mouse. And suddenly you have yourself a battle map here. And just because you're using a drawing tablet does not mean you can't use a mouse. So I'm also using a mouse here and... Uh, you can drop some tokens. Uh, let me see. You can drop your tokens over or whatever. And uh, well, that's a giant campfire. <laughs> it's more like a bonfire. But whatever, you get the idea. You, you use this drawing tablet as a input device instead of a mouse you can draw with it and use it as if you were using a battle mat at your table um, you could use it in combination with the mouse like I do or use it by itself if you're comfortable with it or whatever you like to do um, I like to I don't, I don't always have a nicely detailed rendered map available. And sometimes you got to go with a sketch um, as if you were playing at home. Not everybody at home has Dwarven Forge tiles. Sometimes you just got to sketch out a quick dungeon. And this uh, system, this drawing tablet, allows you to do that fairly quickly without having to go through the painful process of drawing with a mouse, which is not ideal. Um, so, nothing. Somebody asked me, how, how, how do you exactly use a drawing tablet? And I thought I'd share how it is I use it. Um, it is a pretty important part of my Roll20 um, setup. And if you got 50, 60 bucks lying around and you use Roll20 a lot, I would definitely recommend picking one up it, it, it can greatly improve your your time on rule 20 all right um 
so that's it. I just wanted to share this with you. I got this little toy today, so I wanted to open it up and, and put together a little video showing you how it is I, I do this. All right. Um, make sure you follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel uh, where I post these Roll20 tips. And um, I'll catch you next time. All right. Thank you.